For the first time in decades, residents in Missouri's first congressional district have a new representative in Congress. And Cori Bush is making history as the first black woman to ever represent Missouri. News Force Paige Holsey talked to her about the significance of her election and her priorities in office. Overjoyed, excited, nervous, you know, happy, uh, overwhelmed, and honored all at the same time. <laughs> Congresswoman Cori Bush recognizes the historic significance of her swearing in. Being in this position, what it means to me is that finally regular people in our community have a voice. And not that I know it all, but that I'll be listening to all. The freshman congresswoman made a name for herself as a vocal advocate of the Black Lives Matter movement, as well as supporting defunding police, a controversial topic across the country, but especially in St. Louis after a staggering 262 homicides in 2020. Your critics would argue that in one of the most violent congressional districts in the U.S., the last thing that needs to happen is for police to be defunded. Why do you still support that cause? Funding does not make police better. We want to defund because there is an overfunding of our police and an underfunding of our social programs. We're not saying the, that there will not be a 911. That's a lie. We're not saying that. We're not saying that the police won't have their salaries. They will. We're just saying you won't have extra money to buy tear gas and skunk spray and bear spray and, and uh, stockpiling SWAT gear. That's what we're talking about. Bush is taking office just before Congress votes to certify President-elect Joe Biden's victory. And she has this message for Missouri Senator Josh Hawley, who is pledging to oppose the election results. Turn your focus around from to what you're trying to do. Actually, you know, it can be considered treasonous, number one. And number two, it can also look like you don't have the heart of the communities where you are supposed to serve and represent, you don't have that. What you have is a desire to go higher in office. Bush says her first priority in office will be pandemic relief. $2,000 a month, monthly recurring uh, uh, payments. Um, and, you know, we're trying to get that done as fast as we can. So that's the very first thing. For News 4, I'm Paige Holsey.